G'day, Terry here. Welcome back to another episode with Handcrafted by Terry G. G'day, Terry here. Welcome if you're new, and if you're a regular, great to have you back again. Hey, on today's episode, I just want to share um, this little bit of a project with you guys. Um, I wanted to find out a way that I could get my Starlink up off the ground, because at the moment, guys, I'm just using the, um, the little base that came with it, and um, I had an idea of maybe using, you know, those foldable clotheslines, and um, using one of them as the stand for the Starlink. So, so there's my Starlink dish here, right? And as you can see, you see how it's pretty well low to the ground? And um, they work even more efficient if you can get them up as high as possible. So I had a thought, okay, I'll grab this here. And this is my fo foldable clothesline. And um, what I'm thinking of doing is taking the arms off for the, um, uh, the, the clothes and just using the post itself and then mounting the Starlink dish uh, in that upright centre part. And um, I'll show you how, how it's all done um, uh, and I'll go through it step by step and show you what I mean. So this is my clothes hoist here, right? And what we're gonna do, we're gonna take off these parts here and mount the uh, satellite dish straight into the, the pole. Uh, so um, I'll, I'll take you step by step and you can watch me do it, hey? So we'll begin, right, what we're going to do, they've just got some um, screw points here, and I'm just going to loosen them right off. Loosen this one right off as well, and see how it folds down. Unclip it, grab this piece here, and take it out. And this is the only bit that you need. You don't need this part, so we'll put this part to the side. And there's a plastic um, blue cap just on the end. So we're gonna pop that one off. So um, you'll need a flathead screwdriver. And what we're gonna do is just take off this blue cap. Um, so I'm just gonna go along and just um, lever it off like so. So you just got to go around um, gently with it and just um, manoeuvre it off. And as you see, it comes straight off and you're left with that nice centre hollow part just in the end there. So then all we do then, guys, is um, drop our pole straight back into our uh, base frame and look how high we've got it at now. Hey? So it's a fairly very good height for the, um, the Starlink dish. Okay, so the next step we're going to do is just grab your, um, your satellite dish and uh, we're just going to remove the, um, the base frame to it. Pop it off like so. Hang on to that, because you might need it one day, right? So I'm just going to put it down on the ground here. But the, um, the base of the actual satellite dish there, the perimeter, is the correct size to go into your, um, uh, your, 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 your foldable clothesline. And check this out, guys. So all you've got to do then, right, is stick it straight in top like so. And look at that, look how high we've got it at the moment. So that's my head height, so I'm 164 centimetres high. And look how high I've gotten. I don't have to get up on top of the van there, guys, and put the satellite dish or anything like that. Um, I could just pull this out, put it wherever that um, there's not going to be any obstacles or anything like that um, uh, for the signal for our dish, right? And I, I won't get hurt by climbing on top of the van or anything like that. I can just set this up, point it in the right direction, hit the settings and say unstow and I've got my satellite dish already set up and how quick and easy is that guys and it's a beauty too because um you know say if you want to go out one day it's easy just to quickly pack it up throw it in the van go out then come back and it's easy to set back up again because um if you just leave them out and about guys uh, when you're camping they can get stolen so and they're absolutely pointless if they do get stolen because it won't work without the router anyway so um, yeah, what a fantastic idea. Uh, so I bought the foldable clothesline from RTM. You can get them from BCF, 
um, many other places as well too guys and um, yeah you can do exactly the same as what I've got here what a fantastic idea yeah you could go to the marketplace as well if you want to buy a second hand one uh, you might be able to pick one up for around about 20 to 30 dollars but I only paid 49 for this one and uh, that was through RTM guys and um, yeah you know look how high I've got it up now what a great idea Guys, if you like this video, hit the like and subscribe button. Uh, leave me a comment down below. I'd love to hear from each and every one of you. And remember, guys, make it yourself. Take care. Bye now.